Why aren't we doing a better job of making sure that perpetrators are punished? How is our system failing victims so badly? I see that women who've been raped often feel like they're the ones on trial. He accused me of liking rough sex, saying harder, harder during my rape. I thought I was a victim, but at that point I felt like a criminal. And I confront the people in authority who are supposed to be putting rapists behind bars. Very often people will think it's because we don't believe them, but it's not. I don't know, I just think maybe, maybe I can move on with my life more if he could just admit that he did this. According to the British Crime Survey, over 15,000 people reported being raped last year. But there were just over a thousand convictions for rape. That's a massive difference. Clearly, something's going wrong, and I want to know what it is. We have boys and girls now that are, for the first time in, in human history, are being raised in a pretty much a pornified culture. And if we look at these images, if we look at these, um, these films and so forth, we see that sex is portrayed as being about power. It's about a man will take it from a woman, he'll do it to her, he'll give it to her. It's not about exchange and communication and mutual respect. That if women behave in a certain way, then they're sluts. And if some men get the wrong idea, then what do they expect? A major study showed that we have deep-seated stereotypes about rape in our society. 34% of people thought that a woman was fully or partially responsible for being raped if she was flirting. 30% thought a woman was responsible if she was drunk. 26% thought a woman was responsible if she was wearing sexy or revealing clothing. Everyone's completely different and there's like a whole range of people. It's just like you can never tell by looking at someone you know. No, and obviously it's... there's the perception of, you know, your sexual offender will be someone wearing a long raincoat, wrong yeah. rain mat. Couldn't be further from the truth. Um, many people have a perception that there are flaws in mm. the system when it, concerning rape cases. Mm. Do you feel that in any way? I have a very personal view that um, sometimes the system feels more kind of biased towards the perpetrators. Yeah. The pressure often seems all on the victim. Natalie had to get in touch with the Crown Prosecution Service to arrange a meeting to discuss the case. It was horrible. They were so cold about it. So I was angry at this point as well because I was trying to tell them how I felt like even if I didn't win the case, at least I would have had a step to talk out about what happened so I could put my point across. They were saying they can't see any point in me going and putting me through the trauma to then be let down and know that I'm going to lose the case anyway. A victim would have to come all Hannah Camplin is a legal expert for rights of women. They support victims going through a trial. So the victim is actually a witness? Um, yes, the victim is um, the prime witness for the prosecution case, so the first witness that they would call. OK, so they, do they, they don't get a lawyer? Um, no, the victim has the Crown Prosecution Service lawyer okay. um, to represent them, but they don't have a lawyer of their, of their own, if you like. I think everyone who's given evidence would say that they find it, it's not a pleasant experience mm -hmm. at all. Um, I think that some people would experience an element of satisfaction in actually telling people what happened. Okay. Um, but I think it's really, really important to appreciate that this can be um, a difficult process and the best thing to do is to get as much support and advice as you can do mm. before you actually decide to go through this process. I was terrified of him. He was a monster in my mind and I just needed to face that fear. I really needed to see him and realise that he wasn't this terrifying person. He was pathetic. Um, at the end of that, I felt good. I felt, I felt good. I felt like I had accomplished something, but things changed as soon as the defence stood up. You can't prepare yourself for someone accusing you of things that you haven't done when you're not even on trial and no one stops them. 
No one objected. No one said this is wrong. For some victims, like Sarah, the experience of court feels almost like being attacked all over again. I found with some of the um, victims that we've spoken to that they've had a really hard time with the defence barristers, mm -hmm. to the extent that it's just been almost like a, you know a secondary victimisation is what they've called it. Mm -hmm. What 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 is it that you ask them? It's an adversarial system. It means that there is one side against the other. The prosecution bring the case, the defence have to contest it. If the problem is, it's a flawed system, of course. Mm. Uh, you can't guarantee you're going to get to the truth, but you allow the evidence to be tested. And as long as there's equality of arms between the prosecution and defence, then that's invariably what happens. We seem to focus more on how the victim might have been responsible instead of blaming rapists. Why is it that so many people are raped but so many perpetrators are not brought to justice? Because on the whole, we don't believe women. We don't believe that this is happening. But the reality is, women are being raped on a staggering scale. But our heads are stuck in the sand and the criminal justice system has got its fingers in its ears. It's not listening to women, it's not dealing with the reality. It's seen as this natural hazard that women have to be careful of. For example, when they're coming home late at night, mm -hmm. when they've been to the pub, they just need to you know, take the necessary precautions, and if they're responsible, then it'll all be okay. As if it's like the weather. Mm. But we're talking about violent acts yeah. done for a purpose. You know, people decide to rape. They make a choice and they have an intent. Rape is still a taboo subject, but the fact is it's happening every single day and we need to start talking about it. You know, victims shouldn't feel like they are to blame or in any way ashamed for what's happened to them. And there are flaws in the system, but 